Hi, Ted Walters here. I'm at the Academy at Trufa Golf Centre in Warrington. And today I want to talk to you about improving your backswing a little bit. This video comes from a common thing that I see, a common theme in how a lot of you guys out there can make the backswing. Uh, what I mean by that, if I was to turn around here so you could see from a down target line view, if you imagine, and we see a lot of back swings that get made where the club gets whipped inside quite easily. And when we get the club in this position here, so the shaft is quite horizontal and the weight center of gravity is way behind the body. From this point here, the only thing you can do is to pick the club up, stand it up and then move everything forward. And that creates a lot of the issues from hitting pulls, slices, hitting the ground early top shots from weight staying back too too much in the in the downswing so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we create a, an improved backswing if this is something that you you suffer from so a couple of key points in this backswing that we want to look at so the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that as a reference point when you're moving the club away we're not moving the club away inside the body quite low here we want to keep the club moving in an upward manner so we would like the club head to stay fractionally forward of the hands so here is where it's going behind the hands we don't want it this much in front of the hands but we want to keep it a fraction forward of the hands so if you look if you were practicing in front of a mirror or in the patio window in the garden and you were to make a movement here where the club shaft is getting towards parallel to the ground you want to feel that your club face is fractionally in front of your hands through there and if the head as well was matching a little bit more of your spine alignment not going this way being a little bit more sort of turned in de lofted if you like from there that would also be a nice checkpoint to have so there's the first one from that point here as we're making this movement what we then want to do is we move the backswing a little bit further on if we look at how the knees are flexed we want to make the trail leg get longer and the lead leg get a little bit shorter as we rotate so from there if I was to move here we've got this trail leg gets a little longer lead leg gets a little shorter as it increases flex and loses a little bit of flex so we've got the club moving this way here and then as we continue our movement arms will go upwards a little shorter a little longer in the legs as we move everything up here from that point there if the lead shoulder is moving more towards the ground we retain our forward bend our angle in here the hips will retain a little bit of tilt with the trail hips a little bit higher and then we can move the club upwards and into a top of the backswing position rather than it being around here now from being up there with the club moving up this way it's much easier for you to get the club to come this way where in a downswing the center of gravity is behind the hands and then the club can travel a little bit more from the inside and behind the body's rotation help you create those straighter and ultimately maybe hit some draws as well but if you follow those four key points as you go through you'll find that you'll improve the backswing especially if you're getting the club quite low and horizontal and behind the body quite early in your takeaway guys post comments in the box below I'd love to hear your thoughts on this how your back swings are moving whether or not when you've filmed your swing whether this can contribute to you hitting some of the shots that you hit out on the golf course let me know post comments in the box below I'd love to hear from you as always guys thanks for watching if you've subscribed to the channel brilliant if not just click that subscribe button loads more content to come from here and on golf course as well in the coming months as always give the video a thumbs up if you're liking the content and I look forward to seeing you again next time thanks for watching